all right what is up everybody welcome back to another video here's your boy matt turner um and i like to talk about a ton of shit <laughs> um but no i am officially three months post-op i think um whatever the 25th was so i'm like three months and like seven days or something like that um <clears throat> But I did want to just do a quick update because I haven't been around in a while um, and some people have been asking about how my arm is going and so I figured I would just go ahead and do a video explaining some of the different things that have been occurring so far um, and yeah I'll go over things like sensation um, and really that's 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 really the biggest thing that's been happening for me um so for those of you who don't know or this is the first time you have seen any of my videos um i went to dr santucci um in the crane center in austin texas on april 25th um for rff phalloplasty i had um at all the works i had one stage um so i had urethra lengthening scrotoplasty um phallus creation nerve hookup and obviously like um artery hookup and everything like that all of that happened at that one stage on the 25th um and i currently do not have any other stages planned um the other options that i would have going forward right now are um getting testis testicular implants um penile implant and glansplasty um I will also add on to that that I also have the option of medical tattooing. Of those four things, medical tattooing is kind of the only one that I'm really interested in at the current moment, though I do go back and forth sometimes on whether I want um, implants or not, or even glansplasty. I have seen some really cool um, 3D tattooing done, so that's really, I'm going to look into that first before I decide what I want to do. Um, but yes, this is my arm um like three months post-op it's a little ashy i'm not gonna lie because i haven't put any lotion or anything on it um i was actually just getting ready to do that but um i just use normal lotion for my graph um this is just cerave mixed with vitamin e oil um so the things that have been going on so far i did not have any real big complications with my surgery um the biggest complication that i had if you follow me you will know this is i had um slight necrosis um i had a blister that turned into um sloth tissue which is a yellow fibrous tissue that sometimes is wet um that grows underneath dead skin um, and what is known as granulation tissue. Granulation tissue is healthy tissue. Um, and that was on the tip of my phallus. Um, that went away within the first two months, I think. Um, and then since then, I just have been um, putting a silicone sleeve on my arm, which has helped tremendously, um, like tremendously, tremendously. Uh, I have some photos. I probably won't post them on this video, but I will link them in the description so that you guys can see them if you want to. Um, I've been very, very, very good at keeping up with um, like timelines of certain things. So um, if you know who I am on Reddit, you can also go look on there and I have a lot of timelines. Um, oh, I also had vaginectomy. That's the other thing that I did have. I did have that done. Um, I have timelines of what that looks like on Reddit as well, if you're interested in that. Um, but yeah, I, after the first two weeks, uh, the first, sorry, after I basically got started working out, so like six weeks, seven weeks post-op, um, I started putting the silicone sleeve on my arm and that has been doing really wonders. You can see right here that even though this looks kind of raised, it's all flat. All of that is flat. Um, even my problematic side, I call this my problematic side because I had 
like an indent right here. Even this is flat. What I will say though is um, for the silicone sleeve, the thing that is, it just makes you really dry. Um, it does take some time to like take effect and everything like that, but um, when you're not wearing it, it'll come back up raised. So you have to, oh, I do have veins here. Um, I was wondering if I would be able to see any veins on my arm after all of the uh, surgery and stuff. And it looks like I have one coming through right here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to see it on the actual graph site, um, but I don't know. I don't really care too much if I can or can't. But when you put the silicone sleeve on or you take it off and you, you like are repeatedly taking it on and off, what happens is, is that after you take it off, your um, the scar will become raised again. So I literally will keep this on for um, 24 hours, like 24 seven, I will keep this on. Um, that's how it works the best for me. Um, and then I'll just put it on like this. I do, it is ripped because I'm not careful. Um, I have to replace it, but I'll just put it on like this and I'll be good to go. And then I'll put another, I'll wear this on top of it. This is just literally like a dress sock um, that I cut. Um, and I do have some bigger sleeves. Um, my girlfriend got me these. This one's too small, um, but I did get this one and it just kind of goes on the arm like this and it goes up to the elbow. And so I have like a little pad for my elbow and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, but that's what's that. So sensation, um, sensation wise, my arm is, doesn't have, it doesn't have much sensation going on, period, honestly. I still only have the one bit of sensation like right here at the uh, the incision, the middle incision line. Um, so there's that. It's also kind of hard to see if I have insane sensation. Like, you always have to get like something else in order to feel if you have sensation or not. And I just don't take the time to do that. Um, somebody did post recently about um, the uh, kind of your expectations versus reality of trying to work with nerve regeneration. And in the beginning, I was definitely one of those people who thought they were gonna do all of the different activities and like exercises you can do to like help with sensation. And no, I'm not. I'm not that person, I'm not gonna do it. It takes exponentially too much time out of my non-busy life doing other things that I enjoy. Um, <laughs> and so I just don't do it because it's gonna come regardless whether it's gonna come or not. Um, and so there's that. But in terms of my actual phallus, I do have some sensation. My, uh, yeah, crouch down. Um, I do have some sensation in my phallus. I can feel when I pinch um, some sides. I know that sounds like it hurts a lot, but it doesn't. I have like about an inch of area where if I pinch, I can feel it. And then I have about um, maybe like three inches of space along the side of it as well, where I can feel kind of like pins and needles whenever um, something brushes up against it or anything like that. Um, pins and needles does not hurt at all either. It just kind of like, oh, that feels different. <laughs> um, at first it was really, really hard to kind of like point out like, is this something that I'm feeling? Is it not? Um, but eventually you kind of like start understanding like, oh, this is, this is what this feels like. This is what this doesn't feel like. Um, what else is there? In addition to that, um, oh, moving around, flexibility. I haven't seen any hindrance in flexibility. This is how I can do my arm right now. So as you can see, I have 
I don't have like full arm extension, not arm extension, wrist um, extension, but I have like a good majority back. And this is where I'm at for uh, wrist flexion. And so as you can see, I still have like a little bit left to go. Um, but all of that came naturally. I didn't do exercises or anything like that. Um, I did them in the beginning because it was important, but after like the first six weeks, or once I started wearing the silicone sleeve, I'll basically say is when I, I stopped doing those. Um, so yeah, that's been going really well. Um, I haven't really noticed anything. I can do push-ups, I can do um, tricep dips and everything like that. Um, I haven't really seen anything wrong with it lately. Uh, satisfaction, overall, very satisfied. Um, I have enjoyed it a ton. Um, don't regret this surgery at all. Um, I definitely think every single penny, every single second, every single thing that I did um, and had to go through, um, and I'm really just talking about the two weeks where I was alone in a hotel by myself, <laughs> um, going kind of slightly and, in, you know, insane, not, not too much insane, but you know, insane with worry and, and concern and everything like that. Um, but no, like it was definitely worth every bit of that. I've enjoyed every single second of life since then. Um, currently back into fitness, um, for those of you who know me. I am kind of more into bodybuilding. I kind of take that very seriously. I know I don't look like it, um, but I am currently cutting down and then I will finally be able to do a serious bulk. And I think that's the biggest thing that I love about being post-op is that I can finally like chase my dreams and focus on real life and focus on like improving myself and the areas that I really, really want to, that I feel like bottom surgery and top surgery and my histo just took out so much time for me being able to do that. And it's kind of more like now that those no longer are in the way because I, I mean, I can't do anything else. Like <laughs> whether it's due to finances or just like I, surgery fatigue or just I don't want it. Um, there's really nothing else left for me to do. So in terms of uh, transitioning, I'm I'm like, I'm done transitioning. Um, and so it's just nice to kind of just live life, honestly. Um, and I'm kind of bored. I'm not gonna lie. So now I'm finally like, oh, I can get back into hobbies and things of that nature. Um, I never realized how much of um, these surgeries like took up my headspace while I was, you know, in the process of planning them. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, for the past three years, I've been focusing on some aspect of transitioning, whether that's my testosterone, top surgery, bottom surgery. And now it's just kind of like living life and doing the things that I want to do and working towards the things that I want for myself um, in life. And so that's really, really fun and cool. Um, and one of those is bodybuilding. Um, and uh, physical education. For those of you who know me, you know I'm really big on that. So finally being able to ch chase down like exercise science as a pursuit of mine um, in the education realm is really, really cool. Um, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm vibing, I'm digging it. Um, what else is there? I don't know, if I left anything out, please uh, ask questions in the comment section. I would definitely feel free to follow me on IG at Morgan7551. I definitely respond to questions more over there quicker and faster. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know. But um, I just wanted to do a quick update, let you guys know how things are going. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great morning, evening, day or night, wherever you guys are. And I will see you guys later.